The surgeries we know today often bear little resemblance to the procedures used centuries ago. Nonetheless, centuries of trial and error, research, and experimentation resulted in procedures that are not only commonplace today, but also highly effective and safe. These advancements will continue as robotic surgery, laser surgery, and microsurgery enable surgeons to treat conditions that were previously thought untreatable. Even in the late 1800s, infection was common, and outcomes were generally poor. Given that anesthesia was not used until the mid to late 1800s, early techniques were rudimentary, if not barbaric, by today's standards. Surgery today takes many forms and is frequently performed using minimally invasive techniques such as laparoscopy. These advancements have contributed to shorter recovery times, fewer hospitalization stays, improved outcomes, and fewer complications. Take a look at the timeline of major surgical developments to get a sense of how much has changed. Before we begin, please like the video, subscribe to my channel, and press the bell icon. Before the 19th century The concept of surgery was investigated long before recorded history, with early surgeons grasping the fundamental concepts of human anatomy and organ systems. Among the notable discoveries 6500 BCE, skulls discovered in France show signs of trepanation a primitive surgery that involves drilling a hole in the skull. 1750 BCE, one of the earliest Babylonian legal codes, the Code of Hammurabi, details regulations governing surgeons, medical malpractice, and victim compensation. 1550 BCE, the Ebers Papyrus, an ancient Egyptian medical treaty, contains instructions on how to treat crocodile bites and severe burns surgically. 600 BCE, Sushruta, known as the father of surgery, was a pioneer in plastic surgery, including rhinoplasty. 950, Abulkasis, an Arab physician regarded as one of the greatest medieval surgeons, appears to have learned many of his techniques from Greek surgeons. 1363, French surgeon Guy de Chauliac publishes Chirurgia Magna, Great Surgery, which was considered the standard text for surgeons until the late 17th century. 1540, the United Barber Surgeons Company is formed by English barbers and surgeons. These barber surgeons extracted teeth and administered bloodletting. 1630, Wilhelm Fabry, dubbed the father of German surgery, is credited with being the first surgeon to use amputation as a treatment for gangrene. 19th century. According to historical records, many consider the 19th century to be the birth of surgery as we know it. It was a century filled with firsts, the discoveries of which enabled many of the surgical procedures that are still in use today. Some of the era's landmarks include The first transfusion of human blood takes place in 1818. The first hysterectomy is performed in England in 1843. Ether is used as an anesthetic for the first time in 1843. The first public use of ether as anesthesia is demonstrated in 1846 during a surgery at the Massachusetts General hospital in Boston to remove a neck tumor. Mary Edwards Walker graduates from medical school and becomes America's first female surgeon in 1855. Antiseptic Principle in the Practice of Surgery, by British surgeon Joseph Lister, is published in 1867, extolling the virtues of cleanliness in surgery. The first successful appendectomy is performed in Iowa in 1885. Carbolic acid is one of the first microbicides used to disinfect surgical incisions and prevent postoperative infections in the 1890s. 1893, the first successful heart surgery is performed at Chicago's Provident Hospital to repair a defect in the heart's lining. Some people do not consider this heart surgery because the heart was not treated. The first X-ray is performed in Germany in 1895. In Germany, the first successful open-heart surgery is performed to repair a stab wound in the muscle of the right ventricle. 20th century Major advances in surgery in the 20th century not only made surgery safer and more effective, but also enabled the treatment of a broader range of medical conditions, including organ transplantation. Among the key moments are The first successful cornea transplant is performed in 1905. The first documented plastic surgery was performed on a burned English sailor in 1917. Antibiotics are discovered in 1928. 1930, the first sex reassignment operation from male to female is performed in Germany. 
the first metal hip replacement surgery is performed in 1940. Colombia performs the first LASIK eye surgery in 1950. 1950, the first successful kidney transplant is performed, though the recipient dies a few months later from graft rejection. 1952, the first successful heart surgery in which the heart is stopped and restarted is performed. The first successful use of a heart-lung bypass machine occurs in 1953. 1954, the recipient's twin is the recipient of the first successful living donor kidney transplant. The first successful pancreas transplant is performed in 1966. The first successful liver transplant is performed in 1967. Christian Barnard, a South African surgeon, performs the first heart transplant surgery in 1967. 1975, the first minimally invasive laparoscopic, keyhole, surgery is performed. In vitro fertilization is used to create the first, test tube, baby in 1978. The Jarvik 7 artificial heart was used in 1982. 1984, Baby Faye, a pediatric patient, survives 21 days after receiving a baboon heart transplant. The first documented robotic surgery is performed in 1985. The first successful hand transplant is performed in 1999. 1999, the FDA approves the CyberKnife, which combines robotics and imaging to treat intracranial tumors. 21st century. The words that most accurately describe surgery in the 21st century are smaller and safer. Every year, new innovations are introduced that allow surgeries that previously required lengthy hospital stays to be performed as outpatient procedures, among the milestones of the 21st century thus far. The Da Vinci robotic surgical system, which is used for prostate surgery, coronary artery bypass, and other surgical procedures, is approved by the US Food and Drug Administration FDA in 2000. The first natural orifice transluminal endoscopic surgery is performed in 2007, in which tools are inserted through the mouth, nose, and other orifices to perform surgery without the use of external incisions. Connie Culp receives the first near-total face transplant at the Cleveland Clinic in 2008. In 2010, Spain performs the world's first full face transplant. The first successful transplant of a synthetic tissue-engineered windpipe occurs in 2011. The procedure involved implanting the recipient's own stem cells onto a synthetic scaffolding in order to grow a new windpipe. In 2013, the first successful nerve transfer surgery is performed in St. Louis, Missouri, allowing a paraplegic to move their hands. The first penis transplant is performed in South Africa in 2014 at Tigerberg Hospital. 2016, the Cleveland Clinic performs the first uterus transplant. Surgery is still evolving, with science making great strides almost every day. Patients are likely to benefit from better outcomes, faster recoveries, and less pain as researchers investigate newer improved surgical techniques. When faced with a complex surgery, it is beneficial to understand what newer procedures are available and whether they are appropriate for you. If you have any doubts about a surgical recommendation, get a second opinion from a specialist in the field. The introduction of telehealth has made seeking second options easier than ever before, providing you with the information and insights you need to make an informed decision. This was the evolution of the surgery. We hope you like the video. Please subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon for more videos about the evolution of things. Thank you for watching.